Hello and welcome. I'm Laura Davis Perry, the proud founder of Conquering Walls Counseling Agency, LLC. Now today, we're diving into a fascinating and transformative therapeutic method known as brain spotting. Whether you're familiar with the therapeutic practices or exploring options for healing and growth, this video is designed to shed light on how brain spotting can offer profound changes in your journey towards healing. Brain spotting is a powerful focused treatment method that identifies processes and releases core neurophysiological sources of emotions, trauma, disassociation, and a variety of other challenging symptoms. It's based on the premise that where you look determines how you feel. Brain spotting utilizes our field of vision to find spots in the visual field that help to access unprocessed trauma in the brain. In just a moment, we'll move into a demonstration of a brain spotting session using the inside window setup for brain spotting. In the inside window setup, the client is guided to notice and explore their internal experiences such as emotions, bodily sensations, or memories in relation to a specific issue or concern. The therapist assists the client in finding a visual spot in their field of vision, which is called a brain spot. That correlates with the activation of the issue being explored. This spot is identified through a combination of client self-awareness and therapist guidance, often with the use of a pointer to help the client focus their gaze. The brain spot is determined when the client experiences a noticeable change in their internal state. Now this could be an increase in the emotional intensity, a shift in physical sensations, or a deepening insight related to the issue at hand. Once a brain spot is identified, the client maintains their gaze on this spot, which facilitates a neurobiological process that helps to access and process underlying trauma, emotional pain, or other unresolved issues. While every individual's experience is unique, this demonstration aims to give you a glimpse into the process and how it facilitates deep healing. You'll observe how we locate a brain spot, which is an eye position that correlates with emotional activation and how maintaining focus on this spot can lead to profound discoveries and resolutions of underlying issues. While the client is maintaining the brain spot, the clinician is attuned with the client and holding space for them, helping them to stay focused on the process that they're engaged in. Because the attunement between me and her is really important because most of the time with my clients, what they feel, I feel. You know what I mean? As we go through this process and I have to hold space for her. Like I can't be sitting there thinking about what I'm doing when I get home tonight or the, or the game that's coming on. I got to be focused on what she's processing and focusing on her. So it's really just this connection between us that helps with the spotting part, you know, her staying focused, her staying engaged in what she's doing. That's going to help her by her and I being attuned with one another. So that relationship really helps with the process as well. Okay. Let's begin our demonstration. As we proceed, pay close attention to the simplicity of the process and the depth of the engagement. Remember, the aim is to connect with the brain's innate ability to heal itself. Hello, young lady, how are you? I'm well, how are you? Fine, it's been a minute since we've engaged with each other in person, right? Mm -hmm. So it's good to have you in here today. We've been talking a little bit about doing some brain spotting and I've explained to you what it what it is, like where you look determines mm -hmm. how you feel and talking about finding those spots in the brain that we hold that carry trauma. So. I want to get started with that process with you today. So um, the first thing that we're going to do is I want to give you these headphones and these are called bone conduction headphones. They don't go all the way in your ear. You hang them on your ear like this. Okay, so let's put them on. Can you hear the music? I hear the music. Okay. How do you say? How much has this disrupted your life? It 
is very disruptive. Um, the people um, in my life, like my family or my friends, feel like... So it sounds like you've been having a hard time with that, huh? Yes. Okay. So when you think about like, how your friends and family have, you know, addressed you with it in the past, what do you feel in your body as you're thinking about that? Uh, in my arms mm -hmm. and, like, maybe my stomach. Okay. And what does it feel like in your arms? Um, it feels like if you carry something for a really long time and your arms just feel like really, really heavy mm -hmm. and then you finally let it go, like mm -hmm. that type of feeling. Okay, what about your stomach? Um, my stomach feels like butterfly, like nervous, like anxious. And when you think about those feelings that you have right now, what would you rate them on a scale of zero to ten? Zero being eh, just a little bit, ten being a lot. Um like a seven maybe eight okay all right so let's sit with that seven or eight for a minute keep thinking about so i'm going to introduce the pointer we talked about using this during the process i want you to tell me that is eye is it eye level for you do you have to a look little bit higher a little bit higher mm -hmm. is that good yep okay so i'm gonna ask you certain things and i'm gonna move the pointer to some spots and i want you to tell me where you feel that stuff increasing and staying the same or whatever okay um, so when I put it here I want you to focus on it with your eyes I want here I'm thinking about it here less and here none okay so where do you want to process it at uh, on this okay thing. all right is this where it was mm -hmm. or was it what if I, perfect. What if I do this? Does okay. it go up anymore? Does the feeling go up, increase, or decrease, go away? It stays the same. Okay. What if I bring it all the way down to here? It's higher. Okay. So this is what. Is this where you want to process? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're gonna stay here, and I want you to focus on. The issue that you brought up. Do a gentle check in with you to just see what's going through your mind right now. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't relate. You know, where, where are you right now? Um, I'm imagining the reaction of people, like of me or right from Bay and what their reaction was. Um, and it's like I felt really like tense, like or my eyebrows, like my eyebrows were up, and then I felt them like kind of shift down and feel less, and then it went back up. So it's like another gentle check in. Think about the disconnect. What's your level of activation? Zero to ten now. Um, maybe. Like you were at a seven or eight before. Oh, yeah. Where are you now? I feel really anxious. I think my heart rate is elevated. Yeah, my heart rate is elevated. And what's the level? What's your level of, like, how do you feel that anxiety in your body? Where is that at? It's in my arm, mm -hmm. like in my trunk. And what is that? Zero to ten. It's probably a nine. Okay. All right. So let's focus on the disconnect. And you're allowing your mind to do this, right? You're not trying to control it. Mm -mm. I just keep like asking the question or whatever question is coming to stay focused. I keep asking that question. So right now the question is why, why don't you care? Why? So I just want to check in with you again, see where you are with your level of activation at this time. I'm at zero. You're at zero. Okay. So a part of this process is to make sure that you have really processed everything and we have to do what we call squeeze the lemon 
which means we go back to the beginning and we start with that same issue that you brought in to see where you are with activation from that. So I want you to go back to your first initial issue that we were talking about and that you were processing and go back to the burning spot. Let's go back to the spot mm -hmm. and think about that issue and let me know what comes up. If you feel... It's not a seven, mm -hmm. but I do still feel... Okay, so where is it? Three, four, four. Okay, so let's keep that. So tell me where you are, zero to 10 at this point. One or two. Okay, no problem. Where's your activation level with that? That thinking. It's low. I think it's forty one is good. Okay. So we're gonna stop at the one. I wanna ask you if it's okay for me to remove the pointer. Mm -hmm. And I wanna thank you for allowing me to hold space for you today. Thank you for joining us for that demonstration. Brain spotting is a journey, one that touches the deepest parts of our brain and soul, facilitating healing in ways that sometimes words cannot fully capture. It's a method that supports our natural ability to heal, offering a path to uncover and process what lies beneath our conscious awareness. As we conclude, I hope this introduction and demonstration of brain spotting has sparked curiosity and hope. Whether you're seeking healing for yourself or someone you care about, brain spotting offers a compassionate, effective approach to overcoming emotional and psychological challenges. If you're interested in learning more about brain spotting or wish to explore how it can assist you in your healing journey, please visit us at conqueringwallscounselingllc.com. Our team at Conquering Walls is here to support you through every step of your healing process. Here at CWCA LLC, we believe in conquering walls caused by life's adversities, one brick at a time. Thank you for watching and remember, healing is not just a destination, it's a journey.